Hi, this is Chris Freeman. I'm a learning leader at Dormacaba. And in this video, we're going to commission the ED100LE low energy operator. So at this point, the operator is already installed. The, the back plate is securely mounted to the frame. The arms index properly on the, on the pinion. The foot assembly is attached to the door if it happens to be, be a pull side mount. That's properly located on the door. The spring tension has been adjusted and the power off closing speed and direction has already been adjusted. So now we're at a point where we can turn the unit on with power for the first time and, uh, and this would be the process walking through that. So the first thing we do is turn the unit on and if we have power, the LED should light up. While the lines are going up and down, we push the bottom button. And the reason we do that is to orient the uh, LED output to make sure that it's, uh, up, it's not upside down. We should come up with a P, and that indicates that we need to program the unit. So this is the first time on this door. This is the first time that there's ever been power applied and it needs to be programmed. So we're going to tell it three different things as we program. We're going to tell it uh, what side of the opening we're on. So is it on the push side or is it on the pull side? We have to tell it that. And then we're going to tell it some uh, additional information. We're going to tell it the reveal depth. So on the push side, the reveal depth is the distance from where the plate is installed to uh, where the face of the door is. So on this particular application, it's about uh, four inches or so. And then we're going to tell it one other thing. We're going to tell it uh, what size door we're on. So this is a 36 inch door. And then after we do that, then we can do a learn cycle. So let's, uh, let's just go through that process. So to get into program mode, it's always, always the same. Uh, push and hold the right button for about three seconds and the, uh, the LED will come up in the program mode. And the first parameter is AS, and AS is push or pull. And then we push the right button again, and that shows us what the uh, default value is. So zero, 00 would be for a pull side mount. That's the default value. I want to change that to zero, 01 for a push side mount. So I push the right button again, and now the LED flashes. Now I can use the up and down buttons to change the value. So I change that to 01, which is what I want. Then I push the right hand button again and it stops flashing. And now that value is entered. So now I can hit the left button, which takes me back to the menu. Hit the down button to go to the next value in the, uh, in the programming sequence. And it'll take me to RD. And RD is the reveal depth. So there's a chart in the instruction sheets that tells you you know, what the value should be for a given uh, dimension. So for about four inches, it should be a value of 10. So I hit the right hand button again to see what the default value is, which comes up as zero. And I want to make that uh, 10. So I hit the right hand button again and it flashes. And then I use the up button to change the value to 10. Once I get there, I hit the right hand button again. Now I've entered the reveal depth. So now I hit the left button, takes me back to the menu, hit the down button, we're going to the next value. So the next value is supposed to be TB, kind of looks like a capital R with a B, and, uh, and that's door width. So a door width for a 36 inch door should be a value of 09. So we push the right hand button to see what the default value is. Default value is 10. I want to take that down to nine. So I hit the right hand button one more time. The LED flashes. I hit the down button, takes me down to 09. That's what I want. Hit the right hand button again, stops flashing. Now I entered the door width. So now I've entered push pull. I've entered reveal depth. I've entered uh, door width. So now it's ready to do a learn cycle. So to do a learn cycle, you push the left hand button once. And you can wait and it'll time out and you can do the learn cycle or you can hit the left hand button one more time and it'll take you out of program mode and now you're ready for the learn cycle. So now you'll see a zero with a circle going around. 
Okay, that tells me, okay, it's ready to, uh, it's ready to operate, but I, got, I need to do a learn cycle. And when we do the learn cycle, it will determine door weight. It, you will tell it uh, the opening angle to open to, and it'll get a feel for the closed position. It'll learn all those positions, okay? So to initiate a learn cycle, we push and hold the bottom button for about five seconds. Okay, and that'll start the process. So first it'll pull the door in. And then it'll open the door out to about 70 degrees. And it'll stop. And it'll wait for you. And now, now you open the door to whatever angle you want the power open position to be. So it's generally somewhere around uh, 90 degrees or so. And it'll stay there. And then we push the bottom button one more time to accept that position. And now the door will come closed. And it'll open and close a couple of times. And if there's a strike attached to the operator, that will release to allow the door to open. And this will open completely. Try not to interrupt the door while it's doing this, because if, if you have to use the door and it gets interrupted, it's no big deal, but you'll have to start the process of the learn cycle over again. So now it'll come closed. And it won't quite close all the way. And then it's going to push the door open. Right about uh, here, it's going to push the door open, getting a feel for the weight and the mass of the door. Now you get a C with the circle going around, which means close. And then once the door closes, you'll have two horizontal lines. And now the learn process is complete. So now, at this point, if we push the bottom button, we can always activate a test cycle. And the first cycle after we program is always going to be slow. Just making sure the arc of the door is clear. And the hold open cycle on a uh, the hold open period on a test cycle is 10 seconds, so it's a little bit longer than, than normal. And it'll check the power off closing speed adjustment in this cycle. And then after that, it's a uh, it's standard operating procedure. So if we turn the button to automatic mode and push the sensor or wave the sensor. That would be your normal uh, speeds, forces, hold open times. And that's about it. And that's all there is to it. And remember, the, uh, the process is the same, whether it's an ED900, an ED50LE, this one happens to be an ED100LE, and even the ED250LE. For complete instructions, visit the, our website at dormacaba.com, and there you'll find the complete PDFs of the instructions. So thank you for watching, and see you next time.